Hey YouTube, how is it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Shula Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy, if you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for Monday, March 25th. I hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Let's dig in. Oracle card to start off your reading. Just talking about spring. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So how beautiful it is. I just want to talk about that for a second because for me, you know how spring, the flowers are blooming, the trees are getting their color back, the sun is shining and it's nice and warm and, you know, everyone feels like being outside again. You know, you that depression you feel is kind of lifted. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, as some of you are going through, like, it's like, we made it through winter, right? Like, now the sun is here, the warmth is coming, the birds are chirping. Like, it's just an over not an overwhelming feeling, but it's a good, well, maybe it is. Maybe it's a good overwhelming feeling though. You know, it's, it's nothing bad. Um, I feel like this is kind of you guys, you know, you have been so sheltered and so like confined because of winter. And now with spring coming, it's like, this is a whole brand new you. This is you transforming. This is you changing. This is you evolving. Right. So I feel like that's kind of where the message is going is that you guys are out of this different place right now. You're changing, you're evolving, you're becoming better and not even better, just more, more who you're meant to be, um, which is kind of interesting that spring brings out that type of energy in everyone. Well, I don't know about everyone, but I know about me. Um, so kind of an interesting reading to say the least for you guys. Um, I'm going to start off with the two cards that I feel the message is really clear. Um, so if this resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, then the message isn't for you. Just move on. Um, all right. So we have the devil and the hermit coming up for you guys for Monday. Um, the devil talks about addictions. Um, it talks about unhealthy ones. So this could be something as simple as smoking, you know, drugs, this could be alcohol, but in the overall sense that I'm picking up is that someone is, if it's not you, it's someone you're dealing with, um, unhealthy habits. This could be something as sex. This could be something as, you know, the food that you're consuming. But I feel like if this is your energy and you're dealing with an addiction and you haven't, um, wrapped it up or, you know, fixed it or tried to get help for it. I feel like your message right now is that, you know, you need to ask yourself if the life that you've been living is even worth it, you know, and I don't mean, you know, ending your life. That's not at all. I mean, making choices to change because if you're allowing alcohol and drugs to affect where you are, then clearly, you know, those are taking over you. And I feel like you have to kind of get control of it now. Um, There is meetings you can go to. There's help all around, but it's you needing to really want the change. If you don't want, it doesn't matter how many people tell you that you need to change. If you don't want the change, you're not going to change. So I feel like the message is that you have to really ask yourself if the life that you're living is worth this. Um, but the devil card coming up, you know, maybe going into hermit mode is what you need to, guys need to do. Um, Taking a step back, thinking about your decisions, thinking about your choices, you know, asking yourself when I get angry and I go for a drink, you know, is that the best option for me? You know, because when you go for that drink, yeah, you may feel good for a while, but then the next day you're waking up with a hangover or, you know, you're fighting and, you know, it's just not worth it, guys. And I feel like whoever needs to hear this message, maybe taking a step back, looking at your decisions, looking at your choices, you know, thinking about realizing that if life seems unbearable right now, if life seems hard, when God closes one door, he's always going to open another. So keep that in mind. I don't feel like this is the end of your chapter. I just feel like maybe someone needs to hear a message that they're not alone and that people do care and that there is hope out there. So, you know, whatever the situation is that has you guys really in your own demon ruled. That's what I feel like. I just feel like there's so much hurt and so much pain with someone that they use drugs or alcohol to kind of, you know, fix it, but it doesn't fix it. It just puts a bandage on it. So think about the situation clearly. Think about, you know, the choices that you guys are making today and, and how you can change it 
in a positive um, direction. So with the page of wands coming up for you guys, I feel like, you know, you could be at this point where you're feeling all of your energy splitting. You know, you could be for some of you feeling like your energy is splitting, but for the majority of you, it's knowing that there's more out there. And that's what I keep hearing is that you don't have to stay where you are. If you want change, you have to be that change. You have to work hard every day for that new change, for that new beginning. Um, you have to be fearless, right? You have to be unstoppable. You have to go after what you guys want. You have to stay guarded. You know, no one can help you change the direction of your life unless you absolutely want it first. You have to want it for yourself for that change to come through. And that's the message I keep hearing is that, you know, you've got to be at that point in your life where you say, I want better. And you have to work hard towards that. We have a judgment. You know, if you're dealing with a karmic cycle or you're dealing with someone who's, you know, you know that they're not good for you. You know that they only come around when they want something. They use you, abuse you relationship, friendship, whatever it is, you no longer need this person. This person is using you because they can. Um, and I feel like you don't need this person anymore. You know, you, you're at a place right now where you're starting a new beginning. You're starting this, this is supposed to be a happy time for some of you. And um, you just need to walk away. <laughs> if this person doesn't follow you, then let them go. But let karma handle, let karma handle things. Because I feel like the more you try to hold on to someone that's already let go, the more you try to make something work that's no longer going to work, the more you give your energy to people who wouldn't jump an ocean to help you or step a puddle or whatever that saying is, you're just doing yourself more harm. On the positive note, guys, like there's love formations coming your way. For somebody, there's a partner coming towards you. There's a union coming towards you. This is about love choices for me. This is about two people that are really connected, you know, spiritually. And what this other person wants is exactly what you want. But it's only going to come together when you start realizing your worth, when you start realizing your value and, and what you want out of life and what you want in a partner. So I feel like eventually it's going to come through, but it's you really needing to say, okay, well, what does my heart say? You know, what, what do I want? What do I don't want? Because you're going to have victory. You're going to have growth. You have to realize with this chariot coming up, guys, this is no matter how many times you fall down, it, it's more about you getting back up. It's more about you um, realizing that you can do whatever, whatever you want. Chariot is saying, you know what? You may have fallen down. You may have been <clears throat> ripped to pieces, broken hearted, but you've always gotten back up. During this time, you're just going to have to have that patience. Know that divine timing is here and know that healing is here. You know, better days are ahead, but you have to Get away from those dark places. Get away from, away from those things that are keeping you from your full potential. You know, and if that's people, well, if those people really cared about you, then they would help you be better. You know, they would set you in the right direction of where to go. Um, but overall, I just, I feel like you guys, not all of you, but some of you are standing in your own way of getting this new beginning. You know, some of you are staying in your way of getting this new, new abundance or new blessing that wants to come through. That would be it. So I'm going to leave it there. Your Oracle card today actually talks about loyal hearts. So like that. Okay. Fidelity, loyalty, and devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you. And you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the utter circumstances in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected, divinely directed. Relationship message. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. <clears throat> Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for helpful, 
heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Prosperity message. Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form and reality. Success is finally taking shape. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans, while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is time for a joyful celebration of spirit, your manifesting partner. I might as well just read the protection message for you guys. Are you stubborn or overly tentious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you can or that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it's time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. Beautiful. Whew. That's what I have for you guys for Monday, March 25th. I hope it makes sense. I hope it resonates with someone. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.